Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today, Anthony Ferrante, who is chair of the Belmont Recreation Committee. Anthony, there is a public meeting coming up about the proposed new tennis courts at Winbrook. Can you tell us about that meeting? Sure, the meeting starts at 6.30. Um, the basic uh, question that will be addressed is, are we going to put one additional court at Winbrook or two additional courts? Um, we're anticipating a healthy public debate. There is a significant visual impact on the park. And so we're trying to get contributions and, and input from the tennis community, the neighbors, and anybody who uses Joey's Park. And it seems like there are a, a couple of different uh, stakeholders that, uh, that may be affected by new tennis courts at uh, uh, the Winbrook. There is Joey's, the first one is Joey's Park. Uh, can you tell us what impacts, if any, uh, there will be on Joey's Park? So it's really mostly uh, how, it's really mostly the look and feel. So we're not, there's no proposal that would actually go into the area of Joey's Park. But if we add two courts, the fencing will go to within nine feet of the perimeter of the park, which is really quite close. And it would leave essentially a narrow pathway. Um, so there's some impact there. Um, and then any expansion removes an open space um, that currently I believe Second Soccer uses for, I think the kindergarten age kids, the very young kids. Um, but that's, we've spent a lot of time thinking about the effects of uh, different options on the town. And that's probably the one with the least impact. And let's talk about uh, the soccer fields. Uh, uh, the tennis courts will extend along Cross Street. They really won't extend into the, the soccer fields that people think of as soccer fields that the kids use on Saturday. Uh, on Saturdays, right? Correct. It's only really, they, there was one extra kindergarten field there, but uh, no, the uh, town field players, the, the, the players you see most of the time there, this doesn't impact them at all. It's strictly that area between the edge of the fence for, for the tennis courts and, uh, and Joey's Park. Will there be an impact on the school as a school if you add additional recreation facilities that close to a school? I don't believe so. Okay. And will there be a, any impacts on the neighborhood? Um, well, there's a visual impact um, because, you know, aesthetically having, having six courts in a row, um, five or six courts in a row is different than having four. Um, it is a significant change. It really does put a, a, a fairly large fence right near Joey's Park if we put two courts in there. Um, there's some impact, I guess, on traffic, but the reality is that's, that's where the high school is going to play anyway. Whether it's four courts, five courts, or six courts, that's where they're going to play. So there's no additional impact other than really the look of the park and that level of openness as you come in through uh, to the park through between the tennis courts and Joey's Park. Let's uh, uh, talk about the, the backstory here. Um, why is there a, a need to think about adding tennis courts uh, at Winbrook? So I think the first thing to understand is that early in the high school, middle school rebuilding project, it became clear that, uh, and, and this, this was not the rec commission, we and the rec department were not involved. This was entirely a school, um, a school and building committee decision. Um, it was decided that um, as they looked at the utilization, they're expanding the footprint of the building substantially, that putting the re rebuilding the tennis courts on the high school site would, would adversely impact a large number of other sports. And so a decision was made that the Winbrook courts are new, they're relatively close to the high school, and if we get the tunnel under the tracks, very, very close to the high school. And so having the kids play there, the team play there, was, was considered to be the best option. Um, now, typically for a high school tennis tournament, you need five courts. Um, so that's where the drive to get at least one additional court for, at Wimbrook comes from. The drive to get an, an additional court, it would be an advantage, uh, I guess, to the high school uh, players to some extent, but it would also just add an additional bit of capacity in the town. 
we're talking about the uh, the substance uh, of the of whether to add a court. Uh, the public meeting is in furtherance of a funding proposal, right? Correct. There's a CPA application that's been that's been introduced by the town um, that would install either one or two courts. Um, I felt it was very important for the Recreation Commission really gave approval um, for us to see what that would look like. And so there are some drawings posted on the rec department website um, showing where a, uh, an outline of where a single new court would be. Uh, that would leave 38 feet between the edge of the fence and Joey's Park. And if we added two, there's an outline that shows where that would be. And that would take us to within nine feet of Joey's Park. Let's, so that, that's where we are at the moment. Let's talk about where the public can participate and where the public can get uh, more information. And let's start out with participation. If people wanted to either listen in or actively participate, have uh, input or feedback to provide on Wednesday night, what would they do? So you can go to the Recreation Department website. I know our, our meeting agenda is, is posted there along with a Zoom link. So you can come in through the Zoom link. Um, just generally speaking, this is going to be a very, I, I anticipate we'll have a lot of participation. So we're going to keep people muted and ask the people raise their virtual hands. Um, and then I, I, we're going to handle this much like a town, much like town meeting is hand, handled where each person gets what I'm hoping will be a brief <laughs> period. <laughs> to give their opinion um, and, uh, and we can have some discussion around that. I, I think the rec commission will discuss it first and then, and then we'll move on to the public comment. But you wouldn't expect a, a decision to be made on Wednesday night because you've got a, another, a second public input session coming up as well, right? Correct, we have already scheduled a second meeting for February 10th. Again, in anticipation of uh, a lot of interest in this subject, we wanted to give people two opportunities to come in. And also from a practical perspective, uh, after about two hours, um, you know, we all start to fade a little bit. <laughs> it's around dinner time, we all wanna eat. Um, so it's, uh, it just seemed to make sense. In the event that we, since we have announced the second meeting, even if there is, even if the discussion is relatively contained, um, we will have the second meeting and we would just see if there's any additional comment then and then take a vote at that time. Who makes the ultimate decision on whether it should be one court or two courts? Is it the rec commission, the select board, town meeting? Um, well, the ultimate decision as to whether we fund the CPA article or not um, is town meetings. So. If CPA approves the, approves the project, then it goes to town meeting and town meeting can vote yes or no. Uh, whether we go with one or two courts is really, um, it's kind of a mix, to be honest. Um, the Recreation Commission is the, is the body that oversees how the usage of the different parks in town, the non-school properties. And so we do have a very strong say in this case, uh, but certainly the select board will weigh in heavily on this. Um, the school is involved in the conversation. We have, we've already reached out to Belmont Youth Soccer. We've reached out to other organizations um, and the rec department and the town administrator's office will all weigh in. But I think we have a very strong voice in this particular case at the Recreation Commission. And let me ask you directly, is doing nothing an option or will it be either one court or two courts? It, it will be either one court or two courts. I think the general feeling is that um, since five courts are required for a tournament that we really have an obligation to the team and to the students to provide a fifth court. On the, or at rather, the public input session that is uh, coming up what can the public uh, expect? Is it uh, a session where you will do, be doing the presenting or is it a session where the public will be giving you feedback? We will start out with a presentation by either John Marshall, who's our, our assistant town administrator or um, Brandon Fitz, who's our assistant rec director. 
So John is also the acting rec director. So he wears, he wears several hats in town. Um, so there is a PowerPoint that's being put together. There'll be a presentation. There'll be some discussion by the Recreation Commission. I will ask my fellow commissioners if we can keep it um, brisk. And then we will, we will open it up to public comment. And I think at that point, uh, we may be able to answer certain questions directly, um, but I expect that a lot of it will just be feedback. I'm hoping that the discussion is relatively limited to, do we want to add one court or two courts? I mean, I suppose if people want to say zero, they can say zero, uh, but, but it's really about one court or two courts. I don't really want to get into the whole history of tennis and Belmont because it will just take, it will be there forever. That's great. Well, thanks for bringing us up to date. If people are interested in the new tennis courts at the Winbrook, Wednesday night, January 27th at 6.30 is the uh, time and date for the public input session. Yes, and there'll be a second meeting on February the 10th at 5.30 p.m. We've been speaking with Anthony Ferranti, the chair of Belmont's Recreation Commission. You've been watching News Now. The Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.